One, two, one, two, three. original composition I created called Easy Country and Bluegrass Chord Progression in the key of C and it's really just a nice little rhythm exercise and what I'm going to do is I've got a simple chord progression that you'll often hear in bluegrass and country 1-4-1-5 one, one, chord progression and we're just going to talk about using the alternate bass drumming pattern but then using some very common bass walks and some ornamentations to go to and from each chord to kind of spice up your rhythm playing give it a little life it's kind of, you know, Doc Watson-esque, if you will, but in general, again, just in this style of music, a lot of these things are classic and common moves you'll see and that you'll hear, all right? So if you'd like to download the tabs and access the full-length version, you click the link down there below, and it'll shoot you onto my website, and you'll need to become a free member. It's easy to do, it takes less than a minute, and you can access my library of over 40 free lessons already at the site. But again, if you wanna download the tabs, and uh, access the full length version, just sign up at the site as a free member and uh, yeah, you can download everything you need and access all the other free lessons at the site, okay? So for now, we're gonna start walking through the first few measures of this lesson here again, easy country and bluegrass chord progression in the key of C. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down this lesson here for easy country and bluegrass chord progression here, a little rhythm exercise. Again, we're taking a simple chord progression in the key of C, one, four, one, five, and we're just gonna add some um, bass walks and some ornamentations just to kind of spice things up. And this is, again, just a nice little kind of a beginner or advanced beginner um, lesson to get you into more interesting and creative rhythm playing. All right, and a lot of it, before I break, start breaking things down, a lot of it is just going to be based off the alternate bass drumming pattern. So if you're familiar with, you know, just that kind of style of strumming, which is again, the alternate bass drumming pattern, very common, of course, in country and bluegrass music. Um, and so we're going to take that and then, um, you know, manipulate it and kind of add some walks and ornamentations, like I mentioned. Okay, so here's the first few measures here. I'm gonna put the first three measures up on the screen. It starts on the end of beat three, so a little bit of a syncopated um, walk-in. And if that's troublesome, we can talk about how to make it a little easier. But um, we have two quarter note rests and then an eighth note rest. And then it starts again on the end of beat three um, with the little uh, bass walk into the C chord. So here's what it sounds like. So it'd be like one, two, three. really slow so you can kind of hear it again on the and of beat three so if you're not used to playing on the and again it's gonna start on the upstroke right um, so one two three and four and one okay so again if you want to download the tabs for this lesson make sure you um, click the link in the description box or perhaps you're already a member at the site, but you need to be a member, a free member, to download the tabs and access the full length lesson. So just as a reminder, um, it's free to do. Just click the link in the description box and uh, you can download these tabs um, 
get everything you need. So for if you're already a member at the site, then you've got everything you need on the lesson page. So, so again, it's going to start that little walk into the C chord, third fret of the low E, and that's an upstroke there. Again, the and of the beat three, and and then open A, then second fret A. So a little eighth note run, okay? And four and one. Third fret of the A, and get ready for the C chord. And then, you know, measure two is just an alternate bass strumming pattern, right? We're gonna see this a lot, so you know, once we see it, we'll kind of skip by a little quicker. But you know, just A string down up, low E string third fret down up. Okay, that's all that measure is. And you notice too, I'm just strumming the highest sounding three strings, G B E hit more than that it's okay but um, I'm really trying to get some nice clarity there and sharpen up the chord a little bit um, and that's typically kind of how it's done so okay, if you hit more than than that than what's written it's not the end of the world I'm just trying to keep it nice and clean um, And if that throws you off a little bit, you could, you could, I mean, there's so many different ways you could do it, but one example would be just to kind of turn everything into a quarter note and start on beat two. I, I know that, I hope it's not too confusing, but if you use your ears, you can beginning or second measure. And it'd be all downstrokes, all chord notes. So like one, two, three, This one's a little bit, again, tiny bit syncopated, right? One, two, three. So again, I'll do it one more time. The alternate way, perhaps, one of many, would be to go one, two, second measure. Okay? And then the third measure of this line Play that A string again, third fret, we strum the C chord, and then we're gonna walk into the F chord. So open D, second fret D, and we'll just go ahead and go third fret D and get ready to play the F chord. Okay? So that measure exactly. Let me do all three of those one more time in context. So one, two, three. few measures um, four five and six here I'm gonna get over the F chord okay so just a little move a lot of alternate bass drum in there just one little move ornamentation or run going from F to C right and measure five to six you know measure four is just alternate strumming on the F chord so I've got my F chord as such here in third fret D string I strum, then third fret A string, strum. So that's all that is. And then measure five, third fret D string again, strum. And then here's a little run. So zero two hammer on the D, open D, second fret A. six and go back to the C chord and to the alternate bass strumming okay that uh, so those three measures do ready go and of course I am you know kind of swinging um, the strumming the you know I'm swinging or giving the feel a swing feel, if you will, 
out of the groove. It's, you know, it's not, not so much straight. We're kind of laying back and we're swinging the eighth notes, okay? So um, a lot of people get really like uh, one or da, 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 but we want to, we really want to lay, lay back, okay, and swing everything. Long, short, long, short, long, short. Okay. So swinging those eighth notes. Um, so yeah, there's the first six measures. Let me do those six measures uh, one more time so we can do it together, and then we will move forward. So from the very beginning, one, two, three. Okay, so um, if you're a member and you're signed up at the site, we're gonna move forward here. Make sure you print off your tabs and uh, yeah, move on when you are ready. One, two, one, two, three.